So um, recently, we went out for a drink, remember? And, you know, you go out, have a drink, hang out with your boys, hang out with your friends. And then you get news that somebody you grew up with on the same block, went to school with, you know, passes away. You know, it's the, that feeling is just, it, it hits us in the heart because we realize life is too short, yeah, right? And what, um, what's sad about this is this guy, and his name is um, Eddie Trujillo Grijalva. Yeah, he's, every time he saw me, he was like, what's up, Justino? You know, really good people. And, um, you know, growing up on the east side and then being in band with him, growing up with him. Um, when we started doing the podcast, I, I want to say he hit me up. He hit me up in the summer of 2023 and didn't realize. He goes, hey, I didn't realize you guys did a podcast. He goes, you He goes, you and, and Richard. He's, uh, he goes, that, that's cool, man. And he said, I'm going to send you my links. He goes, I'm a writer. And I was tripping. I was like, well, we're going back and forth. And I was like, you're a writer? He said, yeah, check out my links. And so um, it turns out Eddie uh, was a contributor writer to the Sweet Life, Sweet, Sweet Life SoCal, right? And he went, he wrote so many articles, bro. So many articles, you know. It's a Sweet Life, Sweet Life SoCal magazine, and he contributed stories. One of them, Slab City, pandemic dilemma. You know, talking about Slab City, the the pandemic, um, even raw and fresh pet food trends. Oh. You know, and he talked to he talked to a, a, an activist and you know somebody that you know that rescues animals. Um, also, uh, what was the other one? Um, Southern California Culture Entertainment Districts. He covered, he covered uh, hip hop, art. Uh, one of the one of his articles was on um, this guy named Moses, aka Pose Two. He's a he's a worldwide known graffiti artist, bro. You know, and to know that. Eddie Trujillo Grijalva from our from our hometown, Brawley, California. You know, he was he was writing in this magazine. You know, and reading some of his articles, man, this dude could write. It was he, how can I say we don't know what people are capable of and the talents that they carry, right? And he wrote so many articles for this company, and I was just like, "Wow!" I was I was really blown away. Yeah, and when I took a you know took a dive into his articles, I was like, "Man, he he did um he did a lot." There was another one called um, "Bumbado," is a story of life, love, and and passion. You know, another one called "The Myth of Cinco de Mayo," where he talks about how people celebrate Cinco de Mayo not even know what they're celebrating about, you know, what, what's the celebration about. And it's the Battle of Puebla. And a lot of people don't know that, you know. They just think it's just, oh, just a party, you know. But um, he goes he goes into depth. He goes into detail. And, and like I said, he, he definitely was an awesome writer. And uh, I definitely, I wish we could have gave him his flowers while he was here. You know, but um, but Eddie, man, you would truly be missed, and you know, uh, yeah. Um, one of these days we'll see you on the other side, man. Yeah, anything you want to share about Eddie, man? Uh, I don't want to say too much, just out of respect of the family, because like it's still like fresh, new. Um, right. I respect their privacy. But um, I mean, I will. I will share a little bit. Like, good dude. Um, first person I ever met that actually knew like 
Roddy, and he, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And that came in handy one time when uh, we were younger. Um, we used to hang out a lot, and uh, we we're playing hide and go seek. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I decided to hide in the, in the restroom, and I didn't know they had like just freshly painted it, and the door got stuck. <laughs> And I couldn't open it. I was freaking out. I, I think I became claustrophobic that day. But <laughs> I was just like, hey, 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 hey. And he's like, you know, and, and he kicked open. He's like, he just told me, stand back. I'm like, what? He's like, stand back. I'm going to kick the door open. And yeah, like, he oh, kicked wow. it open. And like, I grew up with his brother, Joseph. We were a lot closer. But I do remember, like, hanging out, like, experimenting with the guitar outside of my parents and in the garage. And mm-hmm. I... He strolled up and like he's like, "Hey, right, cool, Richie, you're playing." I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Let me take a lick." I was like, "Go for it." I didn't, I didn't know he played. Like, I, I know the family, you know, music, music runs in their blood too. But like, I guess we never really shared that. Like, I, like, I didn't know he was like in band with you. Yeah, I know Joseph. Joseph was in band. Yeah, but um, uh, he started playing, and I was like, "Oh shit!" He, he got down like little things like that that you know I always cherish and. Uh, he was a good drummer, man. Good drummer. I, I mean, man. I bet. Yeah. yeah. I bet. But uh, yeah, like like I said, once again, like, I don't want to speak too much on it. Right. But um, but yeah, man. Uh, may you rest in peace, and my heart goes out to to you and your family, man. Definitely, man. Yeah.